Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. What is going on for Aries? What does Aries need to know? All right. Past energy, we have the two of coins. This person has the four of coins. They view you, Aries, as a page of wands. Okay. Action, advice, or need to know the six of cups. And outcome is the three of coins. Wow. So we're going from the two coins to the four to the three. So working this out. So whoever this person is, this person... Um, Interesting. It's like, I don't know if you're bringing this out of them with the Page of Wands, if you're communicating, or they see you being open, or this could be a work situation too. could be somebody that you like at work. doesn't have to be an ex. could be a past life soulmate connection or something like that. All right. So we have the Four of Cups and the Emperor. So there's an offer here. I'm actually getting stubborn, but um, let me see. That's your card, of course, Aries. You, so you may be dealing with another Aries, but there's an offer here, maybe a decision you need to make or you were supposed to make in the past or something. But let me see. What is the Four of Coins? The World and the Five of Swords. The Five of Wands and the Sun. That's cute energy because that's like, we're going to talk about this. We're going to fight, but once you find out the truth, you're going to be happy with the Sun. So this is how I'm kind of feeling. I feel like this person you're dealing with, you may work with, but... They, and there may have been another person in this reading in the past, maybe been three people. I don't know if this person's hiding for something from you, and but you're going to find out the Four of Coins, or they're holding back, but they finished a cycle, like they let somebody else go finally. The Five of Swords in the world here. Let me see, what is the Six of Cups? You have the Three of Coins again and the High Priestess. And let me do the Three of Coins before I say anything. The Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's somebody... It's hard because I feel it that when I go to say it, it's, it has something to do with somebody you work with, it appears, or you're around, and they like you. I just feel like they had a third person involved, but now that person's gone... I feel, or I feel like you know this person likes you, you work together, or they're not telling you, they're not opening up, maybe that's what I'm feeling. Like you know there's chemistry between the two of you, but, but they're holding back because possibly someone else is involved. But I have three of coins, I don't have three of cups. I like your energy because they see you as being open and they, you want to communicate with them. They're being very closed off. But it's like something comes out in the open and then you're happy. This could be a Leo. I feel this energy of coming together, like it's kind of shy. It feels like it's kind of shy on both sides. Now again, if it's not work, this could be anywhere you go. However you know this place, it could be some type of committee you're on or somebody at your child's school. What is the high priestess? What are you listening to your intuition about? Temperance. Sagittarius. So giving the cold shoulder. So something in the past, you may have given them the cold shoulder or... They were giving you the cold shoulder. I feel like this person was very, you guys both were very, um, like you kept it very businesslike. It was a work situation. You're both not really showing how you felt. Five of swords, one more please. The ace of coin. Okay, so you may get like a new offer, a new position, um, like a new contract. You have to work together with this person. They have a new idea or something like that. devil they could be a capricorn but i feel like this person there's something that they want you to do they want you to help them with you guys are going to work together in a sense and it doesn't have to be actual work it's 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 something like that but it's kind of like that's how they get you close to them so that they can be around you they're kind of being sneaky in a sense by offering you this position or offer so that they can see you and that's kind of the devil energy it's kind of like how do you keep somebody hooked do you keep somebody in the group or in you know in the company by giving them a new role giving them a new job giving them you know the new contract um you're happy about this though is what i'm seeing but the sun coming out let me see what is the sun yeah, Justice, this is something you've been wanting, you've been waiting for. Again, King of Coin. So it could be an Earth sign. I feel like this person has been working on this behind the scenes with the Four of Cups Emperor. I really feel like this person hasn't really shown a lot of emotions towards you. 
Okay, they could be, you know what's weird is a lot of times I get this combination together, or I guess it's not weird, but it's like the emperor on the outside, the king of cups on the inside. So someone who could be very stern on the outside business like that on the inside really does have strong feelings for you, could be even in love with you with the king of cups. So obviously it could be a water sign, but when the combination comes up, but look what's under the deck, the king of wands. Of course that's you, but at the same time this person can be very passionate about you, very flirtatious. The king of coin is under here also, wow. So we have every sign here, but this person, again, could have a lot of different feelings for you. On one hand, they could really love you. They could be very passionate towards you. They could be very business-like towards you or very formal. In the past, there may have been a third person who's actually around you, so you guys had to play it cool, because I feel like the two of you may have had your backs toward each other. For some of you, this may have been, this may involve children, like a playground, or this may involve a school. I heard somebody say a, a principal or something in the past. Um, so, but it's cute because I can see this person is, is keeping you involved by giving you this opportunity or gift or whatever this is. It's It's... Obviously gonna play out in different ways. I feel like it benefits you. Um, I feel like someone else is gonna be mad at you. It's not showing in the cards, but I just kinda of feel like someone else is gonna be a little jealous. I feel like you're gonna get picked instead of somebody else, or you're gonna to have to work together with this person's other, like maybe there's somebody else who likes this person. So that's why I'm thinking there could be a third person, but it's not like they're dating them or sleeping with them necessarily, they're just, they know you like them too, so there's competition in a sense, but not that you're competing. Maybe this other woman is, but um, there is something like you, you're going to have to work though around this other person who may or may not like you, and I don't think you like them either though. So I'm trying to feel if there's another, like it's always like work, but it can't be work for everyone, so I'm trying to feel like where else this could be. They did show me inside like a restaurant bar situation. I'm not sure what that means. If you go there or work there or something. Yeah, so I'm not really picking anything else up. I kind of just get like this person's keeping you by their side. They're giving you this offer opportunity to keep you involved so that they can keep seeing you or talking to you or being around you. They do have feelings for you, but they may not show them because it just may not be appropriate. Oh. Anything else with the Ace of Coin? Seven of Cups. Now I was looking also, there's gonna be some details initially about this plan or opportunity that you may not like. Um, but that's why we have the Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. You're gonna get those hashed out and you're gonna be happy with the results with justice. This might be a payout for some of you. It feels like it might be work-related, past work-related, job-related, something like that for some of you also in some way. But um, what is this King of Cups thinking and feeling, the Emperor King of Cups energy? Of course, this could be you and them sitting next to each other, side by side. Wheel of Fortune. Yep. I think this is that person. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside, but there you are. So an Eight of Coins is under here again for the work. What else do we need to know about the devil? I'm thinking this is a, a good devil in a sense, like they want to kind of keep you attached to them and I don't think you mind in this situation. We have a tower energy, so that's some type of big change. Four of swords, three of swords. Let me do one more for that. Magician, eight of cups. Working together, what working together was the original one Something negative, four swords waiting, unhappy. This other person, I don't think this is you because this is how they view you, sun and the justice. That other person I was talking about may be the one that walks away because we have the three of coins and the devil. So I am feeling like there is a dynamic here in your reading where there's somebody else who does not like you or they're jealous of you or they're, they're upset because this, this person likes you. So I do see someone walking away from this dynamic and I don't think it's you. But this is gonna actually blow their mind with the tower energy. I don't think they're gonna be happy, obviously. Um, they're just gonna decide it's not working out. I also get that you, if you have some type of work that you want to display, like whether, whether it's art or photography, because Three of Coins reminds me of that, um, yours will be put out there, that it will be shown. Some of you, 
this might be you in the end. I'm gonna read it that way too. If you feel like you don't like this, I feel like you're gonna get something good out of the situation. But in the end, you know, down the road, six months down the road, if you're not happy with the way this is turning out, um, you're gonna walk away yourself. Let's see, Eight of Cups, where are you going? Two of Coins. The Empress in Reverse. The Six of Cups. This person might be married. I didn't pick that up until now, but sometimes Emperor Empress energy is here. But she's in Reverse. And she's not happy. So it could be that they are walking away from this Empress. So this Empress is walking away to something new. Ace of Wands. I almost feel like this Empress is being replaced by you, to be honest. Because under the deck, I have Page of Swords. Like, someone's definitely watching. So this might be somebody who is getting divorced. Divorce, Tower can mean divorce, but I usually need more than one card for divorce. I like to have, like, Death, Tower, um, Tennis, all of those, Tennis Swords. Because Tower can just mean someone moves out, somebody finds out something shocking. Hmm. It can also mean the ex possibly is not going to go away quietly. So let me just say this, because we're getting deeper into the reading. More details are coming out. So you can see on the surface you're going to get something, something you were owed, something you wanted. But it does look like there is a third person who actually might be a spouse involved in the situation. So you maybe end up stuck in this kind of dynamic with the devil here and you might not like it in the long run this person may not divorce they may be separated or something but it looks like the spouse may not be out of the picture and may be coming back they are in reverse so that's you know obviously there's some they're unhappy they're they're you know whatever they're feeling but they are they're being replaced they're not happy something like that because when they're in reverse i feel like that's any any queen or king whatever in reverse is usually not good but it looks like they haven't let go they're not moving on it could be that this person also comes back into the picture when they find out about you. So maybe it's not like, maybe they find out about the situation. They weren't doing anything before. They don't like this and they're coming back into the picture also. But um, So going back, okay, so the Six of Cups was the past. Yeah, there's definitely a dynamic of a third person as we're getting deeper into this reading. But um, it also, I kind of feel like this, this Empress energy was quiet up until now, meaning they may have been separated, he or she, and I'm just going to call it a she, she may have been like moved out, moved on moved somewhere else, but not divorced, maybe coming back into the picture, and hence why you have three of coins and the devil showing up because it may cause issues down the way. For you and you may walk away or you may not but I'm seeing here again like I said let me just the good point is that this person does want you they want you in the picture and you, it looks like you are getting some type of job out of the situation or something you want could be a proposal if this possibly for somebody that makes sense could be something more like of a love relationship This can mean codependent though. So it could be that the ex is codependent and they're coming back in or this person likes to have somebody who is codependent on them possibly also. But it can also mean very passionate. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of passion there between the two of you. So if you're getting a reading, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, there's an ex or I call them an ex. They may still be married to them. They're not, so technically they're not an ex, ex, but I call them that. But that who's still involved in the picture, who could come back in and try to revive things with this emperor to keep the flame going so that you, that maybe the, obviously that's the person who isn't gonna like you. So know that person's involved. So even though you're gonna get a work out of it, some contract, something good, possibly, that's the only down, the only downside that you might need to be aware of Okay, let me see if there's an oracle deck that I need to pull from for this particular reading. I don't know which one would really, which would really, um, let me just pull one from the, the past. Let me see if there's anything that might resonate. This person wants to tell you how they really feel, and it does say, bury myself in work to forget about you. So this makes complete sense because the four of coins is showing me they are holding back from you, but yet you, you appear to be very open page of wands. Like you want to talk about this. You want to see how they're feeling. 
you want to hear this good news from them so all right Aries I'm going to leave it here have a really great week and I'll talk to you soon